So to get started with getting mods for Minecraft, you're going to want to head across to the link which is in the video description. This is going to bring you across to a web page called CurseForge. From here, you'll be able to see that you can mod lots of different games from CurseForge. It's an amazing little app. It's really, really nice to have on your computer as pretty much most of the games you can play, you can get add-ons and mods for it through CurseForge. So I'd highly recommend it. As you can see here on the homepage, we do have Minecraft, but we are going to ignore that for now. What you want to do is come across to the top right hand corner of the screen and click the get curse forge app from here you're going to click download standalone you can get the overwolf one if you like but it does come with a slightly annoying add-on so i'd not recommend that so click the download standalone this is going to then download an installer file for you to be able to install curse forge onto your computer so you want to open that up once you've opened it up you're going to want to go ahead and go through the install setup so click next i accept and next, accept and install, and that's going to install the CurseForge app to your computer. The next step is to make sure that you have the original Minecraft installer on your computer. So I personally use Lunar Client. I know there's a whole lot of different Minecraft clients out there, but you have to have the original Minecraft client installed on your computer for this to work. So come across to the Minecraft download page, and then from here, download the Windows Legacy installer. You're going to need this one for this to work. Don't download the Windows 10 slash 11 one as it functions slightly differently. So just make sure you click the download windows legacy launcher which is here so we're going to click that that's going to download you then want to go ahead and go through the install for minecraft if you haven't got it on your computer already then once you've installed minecraft and you've installed curse forge you're going to want to go ahead to your desktop you should have a new icon on your desktop called curse forge you're going to go ahead and open that up and then from here you want to click the home screen and you should see minecraft i'm going to make mine full screen here so from here we're going to click minecraft we're going to click standard continue and then it's going to come up that we currently have no profiles installed which is completely normal that's what we want to see what you can do from here is you can then click browse mod packs what this is going to do is it's going to bring up a whole bunch of different mod packs that you can install so this is lots of different mods bundled into one or you can go back to the top where it says mod packs click the drop down and change it to mods this is singular mods which you can install to your game so for the sake of this video i am just going to choose a random mod here so i'm going to choose jade which shows a little bar depending on what you're looking at in the game so we can see here at the top this is working for 1.20.2 which is fantastic so then i'm going to click install i'm going to click create new profile i'm going to give it a name so i'm going to call this the mod which is jade minecraft version 1.20.2 which is great and then we're going to click create what that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and install all of the required mods for this to work and then quite simply you click play this is going to load up the minecraft launcher for you it may do a couple of little updates while you do this that's pretty normal just wait for it to load it then may ask you to log in again so i'm going to go ahead and log in to minecraft again then when you're logged in you should see that the profile we've just set up is now appearing in the bottom left of the launcher which is perfect so what we're going to do from here is we're going to click play to launch our game we're going to click i understand and play and this is going to launch our game with the new mods that we've just installed it's so so easy to install mods for minecraft so if you get this message when you try and launch your game with the mods installed that means there's actually a problem with the mod so you may have to just give it a couple of days for it to update or give it a few days just for the developer of the mod to sort that out it just means the problem with curse forge and it can't download the file correctly so you can go back into curse forward and choose another mod get it loaded up and play your games with uh, with some mods and that's how you add mods to minecraft